Alright, so I was just going to show you that this is the Nexus 5 that I am doing the doing a showcase for and it's got net hunter on here one thing I didn't put in the video which is going to switch over to in a bit is the fact that one thing I find really cool about this is if you guys use bcmon or know what bcmon is and it doesn't work with your tablet which I've completely deleted it off of here by now if it doesn't work with your tablet or your phone NetHunter actually allows it to work either way which if you don't know what BCMon is it allows your uh, tablet or phone to go into monitoring mode which allows you to actually use a terminal and in this it actually will let you use a terminal without having to use BCMon so for example boom I can get on terminal and Normally it would not allow you to do that. So that is one thing that I absolutely love about this. But anyways, um, I'm gonna cut to the video like from on my tablet, but this is the Nexus 7. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you, get, just show you guys Kali Net Hunter, And this is running on the Google Nexus 7. I just wanted to pretty much showcase this and just show how awesome it is. Um, so, first I'm just going to show you guys, I don't know, it's, it, it is KitKat, it's running on KitKat operating system, I'll show you that right now, so, Android version, we just tap that a couple times, there's a K for KitKat, and it's running on 4.4.4, .4, which is the most recent version of KitKat, um, I've been having a very small glitches with this so far, but overall it is running very smoothly. Um, like one of the things is for some reason it still thinks it's on Lollipop and that you can update to 5.0.2, which is not actually true, but whatever. And it keeps on popping up with this, even though it's fucking bullshit. But whatever, that doesn't matter. It is KitKat, however. And so here's some of the tools that come with it. And here's the NetHunter Home. Oh, it, it does that every time for some reason. The first time you open it, unfortunately, NetHunter stops. You open it again, and boom. Anyways, offensive security. This is like their main logo, anyways. We're gonna like call a launcher. So this is a launcher that will launch things into the terminal, which the terminal automatically gets downloaded with the ROM itself. So we like launch Kali in the shell, and boom, we have full on Kali Linux from a root inside of here. And here's the Wi Fi. We'll just open that up just so you can see Wi Fi running on there, and boom, there's Wi Fi. And uh, one other thing if you wanted to exit, you have to full on exit these windows, or else I'll be running in the background the whole time. Um, there's update Kali CH root, which that updates Kali Linux itself. And it's a Desploit Attack um, database. Um, so we have all these other options in here. And we can just change our external IP address. Or we can just do about anything with it. it. It is really a beast for this little tablet. So all those little gadgets it's got on here. Um, and by all of them, it's this five on the top that come with it for attacks. All the other ones are things that you can download off of my website. Um, but yeah, uh, one other thing I have had as a problem, before you would go through my widgets, the second you got past this page, it would just stop, um, it ended up fixing itself, I don't know, I guess just by having it on here long enough, I think it was because of the sudden change of Lollipop to KitKat, but, and it didn't really like it that much, but, uh, it, it ended up facing itself, so it doesn't really matter anymore, but still, this thing is a freaking beast, and it is, I highly advise if you guys like Call it Linux, to definitely check it out, and uh, get that yourself, it is, I, I'll put a link on how to actually make it and everything, because it is, it is really awesome, it was not that hard, but it is a big file, it is a whole gigabyte for RAM, I mean a ROM, RAM, 
Anyways. But uh, yeah, no, definitely check it out. It is awesome. I've already used it um, a couple times on Wi-Fi. It works perfectly. Um, I've ha used Wi-Fi on it. I've used quite a few things. It's a... Uh, Operating system runs very smoothly. I've noticed very little lag, and very, like there's two things really that I've noticed it uh, crash on. That's about it. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments if you guys have any more questions for this one. I, I guess this one will have a lot more questions because it is a really big ROM. Like this is a very short video in comparison of all the different things around this ROM. I could show you other things and like show you it actually attacking things if you really wanted to. Um, I'm probably going to showcase its applications, but anyways, um, yeah, just leave some comments if you guys want me to show you anything specifically. Alright, bye-bye.